All right there, you fucking shit weasels, you carbonated chicken facts. So we got a problem. We got a problem seems to understand exactly what I am talking about. He's from the south of England and from the north of England, and he actually gets it. And as I, it's as I've said on my stream and on my videos many times, mass immigration in London makes very little difference because yeah. there's so many jobs. I mean, I could look on any job site now in London and find 50,000 jobs with ease. Yeah. yeah. You know I mean, there is, there's, there is loads. There's an untold amount. So immigration here, getting 1,000 people or 10,000 people moving to London is not really going to affect anyone too great. But if you get even a thousand people move to a city or a town outside of London, that is going to crash the job economy in the sense that there is not enough jobs to go around as mm -hmm. it is. Drop a thousand people or even a hundred people in there and you've just ruined half of the people's chances of possibly getting jobs. Because even up there in a lot of towns and cities outside of London, there's not enough jobs for everyone. Yeah. So to then allow mass immigration where you're getting untold people just coming in legally who can then get a job, you're affecting the, the north much more than you're affecting the south. The south is much more insulated to it, especially London, because of the size of it, the jobs it has, things like that. It's it's just, yeah, and Labour have forgot that because, like I said, they live in the bubble, the Twitter bubble and the Westminster bubble or yeah. the London bubble. It, it's interesting that Jeremy Corbyn is not Islington North, you know, um, you know, so a very well-to-do area of London. And he effectively views himself as governing over the... Later, the the working class north, which is completely culturally different. Just you do the, realize that Boris Johnson is more working class than um, Jeremy Corbyn. Almost anyone's more working class than Jeremy Corbyn. Corbyn was brought up in a manor house that they yeah. changed the name from because it sounded too posh. When private <laughs> school had a four point five million fortune. Yeah. What's the difference between him and Boris? Oh, Boris has only got two million. Yeah. So the socialist is richer than the capitalist. What a shock! And the <laughs> no, no, seriously, it's it's genuinely amazing, and uh, yeah, but it's not, the, it's not amazing. It's expected. Well, like it, amazing how the trope always turns out to be true. You know, it's the hypocrisy of yeah. labour and socialism and communism. Yeah. Oh, totally, Marxism. totally. 